Welcome to the Elevator World News Podcast. This week's news podcast is sponsored by ElevatorBooks.com. From educational programs and books to unique gift ideas and more, the only website you need is ElevatorBooks.com. This site offers books and materials on maintenance, safety, history, legal issues, technology, and more. Start browsing today at ElevatorBooks.com. This is your daily industry news update for September 20th, 2017. In today's news, ThyssenKrupp debuts an autonomous delivery robot. New escalators are among the improvements coming to WMATA. An engineer was injured in an elevator mishap in China. And a cluster of residential towers in Manchester continues to grow. ThyssenKrupp with partner software developer Teleretail unveiled a driverless delivery robot for elevator maintenance at the IAA Frankfurt Motor Show, which began on September 14th. Part of a pilot project in which robots will transport spare parts and other materials to the job site, it is one of two robots in Teleretail's New Mobility World exhibit at the Frankfurt, Germany event. The technology promises to be an optimal logistic solution for elevator servicing, according to ThyssenKrupp. The delivery robots are 85 centimeters wide and suitable for traveling on sidewalks. They can carry payloads of up to 35 kilograms. Mass Transit reports 80 new and 153 refurbished escalators since 2011 are among improvements at the Washington Area Metropolitan Transit Authority, or WMATA, that have led to greater customer satisfaction, along with new rail cars, adjusted schedules, and infrastructure upgrades, WMATA is being aggressive in replacing and rehabilitating escalators, resulting in an average escalator age of 10 and a half years, the lowest in decades. WMATA, the largest operator of escalators in the Western Hemisphere, completed its most recent project, two new units at the U Street station, weeks ahead of schedule earlier this month. Various news outlets, including the Daily Mail, report a male engineer was hospitalized after an elevator he was installing in Chongqing, China, suddenly shot up on September 11th, trapping him between the cab and shaft. In video of the incident, the man can be seen hanging upside down from the gap, his legs completely entrapped, as responders work to free him. The extent of his injuries was unknown. Construction Inquirer reports developer De Trafford Estates plans to build a trio of residential towers of 18, 26, and 32 stories in the shadow of the rising Four Tower Owen Street cluster of skyscrapers in Manchester, UK. Simpson Ho is the architect of the plan, which will become part of the Great Jackson Street development and continue to brisk residential growth on the edge of the city center. In September, De Trafford was in talks with a company to clear the 1.2 acre site. For more industry related information, visit elevatorworld.com and be sure to subscribe to our podcast in iTunes or the Google Play Store. If you're interested in becoming a sponsor of the Elevator World News Podcast, just let us know by emailing advertising at elevatorworld.com.